Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? Doing pretty goddamn good. And, you know, after my video the other day about this whole Jesus Freak and uh, Superfly drama here on YouTube, um, some new things have taken place. And because I made that video, in a, in a very odd way, I feel semi-obligated to make this video. So, here it comes. Uh, the, the first person I want to address is To Be Serious, who blocked me uh, shortly before making two additional videos about me, which is very brave, by the way. Um, that's That takes balls, To Be. Um, but basically, in, in the first video, it's, um, Sarah Han, if you don't like my opinion, you can fuck off. Um, and then in the second video, it's, again, these are only my opinions. I have to clear it up. Yeah, uh, To Be, nobody is confused on that issue no uh, least of all me right i understand that you're expressing your opinion about the way you feel people should speak in their videos and it is only your opinion and and that's what my video was to be and my opinion was that your opinion fucking sucks and, and you don't get to tell people you know if you don't like the way i do my videos you can fuck off and not look like an idiot after you've already made several videos talking about how other people do theirs. You see, you see where that gets confusing? If you have the, if you don't like it, you can fuck off kind of disposition, right? That, that's where you're coming from. That's your opinion. Then, it, then maybe you should have just started by fucking off and keeping your mouth shut. I'm just saying it makes you look kind of absurd. It really does, and you really are. It's amazing to me. You're, like, old enough to be my mother, but not smart enough to tutor my nine-year-old in math. Like, like, that's the impression I get of you. That, or you're just, you're either really fucking dim, or you're incredibly dishonest. Those are the only two options that, you know, and I really tried to give you the benefit of the doubt in the past, and I, I'm fucking sorry I did that, because you clearly are either an idiot or just completely dishonest. Okay, another thing that I want to bring up um, is this video I saw yesterday by Dawa Films, and I will link it in the Sarahan bar below if you want to watch it, and it concerns this whole Jesus Freak and Superfly situation on YouTube that I'm sure all of you are fucking aware of by now. Um, if you're not, good for you. Um, and that's kind of, I, I want to build on that a little bit, so let me just start here. Dawa Films did a video where he was talking about the question that Jesus Freak was asked. I, I'm not sure who asked the question, I don't really care, but we all know what it was. If you don't, it was basically, would you, if you knew for a fact God was talking to you, would you sacrifice, a.k.a. murder your child on God's behalf if that were requested of you? Right? Now, Dawa felt two ways about this question, if I recall correctly. One, that it was a loaded question. And two, in so many words, it was a bit unfair. Because no matter what Jesus Freak says, it's lose-lose. If he says, no, I would not harm my child, then I'm a bad Christian. If I say yes, then I support child murder. Right? So, in Dawa's opinion, it was a very unfair question. Now, I do agree. I agree with you about 50%. It was a loaded question. Absolutely. No doubt about it. But was it unfair? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. The person asking that question doesn't put Jesus Freak in an uncomfortable situation. It doesn't place him in a lose-lose situation because the question was so crafty and devious and deceptive and tricky. No, that, that's not what it was. The ideology is so fucking flawed that it's easy to put Jesus Freak in a lose-lose situation. And that, Dawa Films, is the point of that type of loaded question. Okay? The point of a loaded question like that is to illustrate to the person you're asking just how easy it is to put them in a lose-lose situation using their ideology, using their flawed premise, not your own, not just some premise you pulled out of your ass, but their ideology, all of the rules and regulations of the way 
uh, uh, the ideology, the religion, whatever that they follow, you take those and you throw them back at the person who adheres to them, right? And then you ask them this, yes, loaded question to point out just how easy it is to, to do that. Now, is it a bit of an asshole move? It, 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 maybe. Could be. But it does prove a point, doesn't it? Your ideology so fucked up. That it's, it's this, e even fucking, I think it was Brett Keen that asked the question. It's so stupid, even Brett Keen can trick you. Right? And put you in that lose-lose situation. So I don't think there was anything wrong with that. At all. And in your video, Dawa, you add all of these absurd qualifiers. And I get what you were trying to illustrate. You were trying to put the people who were defending that question in Jesus Freak's shoes and say, see how you feel? Now you, you either support child murder, or serial killers, right? You see how that feels? Well, I'm sure it feels really bad, Dawa. I'm sure it sucks to be in that situation. You know, and that's why at that point when somebody put me there, I would change my ideology because it was fucking dumb and didn't make any sense. But no, a lot of theists don't want to do that. They, they just say, oh, well, he tricked me. That's an unfair question. And, and they whine instead of changing their mind. And that's bullshit. Okay? Now, moving on. New things have taken place, right? Between Jesus Freak and It's the Superfly, and now, apparently, allegedly, It's the Superfly has contacted Child Protective Services um, and sent them Jesus Freak's way, right? And my last video was about language. It was all about how we communicate in our videos, right? If you think someone's religion is despicable, and you see someone clinging to that religion, I think it's okay to question the character of that person to an extent. Right? I really do. I honestly do believe that 100%. I don't have a, that's why I don't have a problem with, I can't believe that he would get on camera and say something that despicable, that appalling, that disgusting, with a straight face in order to defend his bullshit fucking religion, He's a subhuman, asshole, son of a bitch, cocksucker, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you want to say to him in that respect, I don't care. But I got to tell you, Superfly, when it comes to this Child Protective Services thing, I can't back you on this. I, 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 want, I, I like you. I think you're an alright guy. I think your intentions are good. Maybe you really are concerned. I don't know. I don't want to speculate on your motives. I don't know what the fuck's going on in your head. But I can't back you on this. Now, there's a couple reasons. One, I personally don't believe Jesus Freak is a real threat to his daughter. I do not personally believe that. That's my own instinct. That's the impression I get. I am a father. I don't believe that he is really a threat to his daughter. You might say, well, if he's not, then what the fuck would he say that in his video for? Simple. Words are harmless. And all he was trying to do is save a little face in the eyes of the Christian community that are all focused on him. That's it. Bunch of fucking Christians on YouTube staring at Jesus Freak awaiting his answer. Well, he better give the right answer. We're Christians, God damn it. He better give the right answer. We're going to be up his ass. And it is a lose-lose question. And it's nobody's fault but his for adhering to the ideology. But that's really all I think that happened in that video. He answered the question in the slipperiest way fucking possible to save face in front of the religious and try not to look like a monster in front of everyone else. It failed because his ideology fails. And that's it. But... I honestly don't think he's going to kill his child. And the other part of it is, the more absurd part, it's the superfly is, he's not going to be hearing any voices from God because, well, you know, nobody's ever really heard the voice of God, have they? I mean, not in our opinion. I mean, the way I see it, if people are hearing voices, they have a mental illness of some type, right? That's not God talking to them. They're either talking to themselves or they're nuts. That's it. Sorry. And that's the way I see it. Jesus Freak has said, you know, the first thing that he would do, if he started hearing voices like that, would get himself checked out, right? 
fine. I, I got it. But we both know that God's not going to be talking to him anytime soon. And if God was asking people to do shit like that, well, we would probably at some point know that this God was real, and we could go ahead and label him a, a, an asshole and start ignoring him, right? And just wait for the next flood, right? That, that would kind of be the best way to handle it. What really troubles me about this, Superfly, is that I am a father. I know you are, too. And I, I can't get this mental image out of my head, right, of the Department of Child Services showing up at Jesus Freak's home and sitting his daughter down and asking her all of these very absurd questions about abuse of any kind. Who knows what they're going to ask? I don't know what the protocol is. I don't know what they say to these children. But it's not going to be pleasant for that child. <clears throat> and, and that's, I can't get that mental image out of my head. And it bothers me so much because she was raised by this religious person, right? <coughs> mm, pardon me. She was raised by this religious person. This isn't her fault. She's an innocent. And I really don't think she's in real trouble. If you do, fine, I guess. But I really don't think you should have made that move. I uh, think you took Jesus Freak's bullshit a little too seriously, and that's that. And I, really, I just feel bad for his daughter at this point, who now may have to sit there and get asked all of these absurd questions. And aside from his religion, aside from his ideology, Jesus Freak could be father of the fucking year for all we know, right? I mean, he really could be a great father minus the religious indoctrination, okay? I don't like it any more than anyone else, and that's that. But abuse, harm, these are serious allegations, and you may have put this child through some unnecessary crap. So I can't back you on that, dude. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I still respect you. I, I dig where you're coming from. I get it. But I just have to disagree with you on that, on that move. I wouldn't have made that move. So that's that. That's where I stand on all the, all of this on this whole issue. Um, so now I can let it go. I think. So you guys have a decent night, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace.